Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we learn about favorites and server stats. So to do that, let us go to our server and see what are the other options we got. So by now we know what is home here and below that we have favorites. So now assume, you know, every day you are logging into report, you know, some reports, some specific report and, you know, going to that path or navigating that, you know, is consuming some some time of use and you want to save that. So what you can do is go to that report and assume you know this is some sample workbook that I'm working every day or let us go to our earlier workbook that we have worked this production one and if I click on this star mark it indicates that there is something that I have added to my you know, favorites or something like bookmark kind of thing here. Now if I go into my favorites folder here automatically that dashboard will be listed here because we have very limited uh, list of workbooks it is you know, not uh, impacting but in real time since you will be having you know, many dashboards like 40 50 60 or you know maybe more than that so there it will be time consuming for you or the end user to search the you know, dashboard or workbook so what you can do is you can just click on this star mark which will get that workbook here so directly you can come to this location and click on this report and it will open. Now it is also listing out to which location it belongs to. So this report is currently available in this production. Okay. And it was last modified on so and so date. So all the important options are about this report are available at this level only. Now if I scroll down, there are some very important options here. So users, we know by now, groups, we know by now, and then we have schedules, jobs, tasks, and, and then we have the site status. Okay, so this is very important option, site status. So let us click on that. And these are the different options that we have. So this is a stats prepared on your network or your, on your server network here, which is basically telling about the number of users who are logged into your server, what type of actions they are taking, how many users are downloading your report, how many users have signed into your report, how many jobs have been failing, what is the reason behind that failure. All that information is tracked at this level, site status. Okay. Now, if you see here, background task for extracts and non extracts, if I click on that, it will show me the jobs that are running today and the jobs that have failed today. Okay, you see today we have generated two successful subscriptions here. One is subscription and it got success. It is showing about that. So if I click on that, it will show me like for how many seconds or minutes that job has run and how many minutes it was executing or how many seconds that job was running that is available here. Same way if I go to this background task for X tags, here we have similar information, but this is about job. You see, here we had one job that got failed here. See, it is giving us error message here. Now let us go to our uh, table here or our report here and let us try to run the report that we have scheduled. So I'm going to this explore here and maybe in this production and uh, we do not have this. Let us... Uh, refresh extract now i'm clicking on this and running this refresh extract now and click on create now this is running so i'm going to this extract refresh and i'm clicking on this and i'm running on this now so we have executed the job now we'll go to our site status here background task for uh, background task for extract here and then it will show, you see, just now we have executed our job and it is in pending status. So once it, you know, identifies the job ID or once this job gets it ID, this job will start running and it will get success or failure based on the condition. Let us see that. So this is our status here. So for now, our status is like one is pending and another one is expired. Now you see we got an error message here stating that so here if you could keep your cursor it will also show you like what is the extract what is the error in the job 
So refresh X task is refresh extract. And if you see at the bottom two lines, it is telling that runtime exception and error occurred when refreshing extracts for the workbook line and dashboard. So Tableau does not support extract refreshes for one or more data sources, which means because we are using Excel or you know our, our sample superstore here, that's why it got failed here. But in real time, you will be connecting to some tables so which will get connected to that source from server and your job will get completed here. So while you see this, you also have options to see like uh, in last seven days, how many jobs were failed, all are available here, you see. 27th fail, 29th fail, again yesterday, 29th, all the failure jobs or everything is available here. Total two errors we have here, okay? And then if I click on this, this is the date range. You can select like our relative filter. You have same here. I want to see like last uh, one month. This month I'm selecting. It is showing now all the months, how many jobs executed and how many failed, or it is listing out here. So total five failures we had till now, okay? So it shows about that. So that is available in our background task for extracts here, okay? Now suppose if at all you want to find out any action that is taken by an end user or what is the action that is taken by a user, then you can go to, or you can switch to these tabs, actions by specific user or actions by recent user. If I click on this, you can search for the user and see what all the actions that he has taken here. Now you see, if I click on this, it will show all the list of users. So currently only I am available. available. So it is listing my name and what type of actions I have taken here. So login, accessing view, and then downloading, publishing, all that are available in this view here. Very, very important options to see if a user is active or not here. So if at all you want to search by any specific user, so I mean, before we go ahead, from here also, you can filter action. So whether you want to see who are publishing reports to a server, then you can select only that and click and apply that and only that will be shown here. Again, time range filter you can apply here, our relative date filter that will filter the data. So I'm going to action by all users here. So similar to user or with respect to user only, we have three tabs here, action by all users, specific user and recent users. If I click on this, total users three we have, of which only one user is active. So here only it is giving you summary of your user information like you know we might keep adding users to our uh, server but some of them might be using server or some might not be using the server so you know after some time we might also have to find out this type of analysis stating that okay of 100 users that we have in server only 50 are using and 50 are not using so if you give uh, if we are able to find out that type of information then it will help you in reducing the number of users on the server who are not active or who do not wish to use the Tableau server in their future. So that will save you some space here and that connection or that serve, that access can be given to some another user here. So if I scroll down, all the information like we have seen for a specific user are available here. Again, you can select from here, same thing we have, but this is for all the users here same time range we have. So actions by all users, specific user means the user who has logged in and action by recent users here. So user status, you can click active or idle. So one user is idle, which means one user is currently, if you see two users are there, he has not uh, logged in. So that user is idle because I'm using, it is showing as act, uh, active, you see. Who, is, who was the most recently active. So here, from here, you will know who was the user who was using the report most recently. So this was the user who was using. So, and time is also giving. So if I scroll down, uh, what actions did user perform? All that are available here. So he published the report and you know at what time all that are available here. At what time he logged in, all that are available here. And, and one more thing, if you observed or not, I don't know. This, the entire report is created in Tableau only. If you observe, we have similar, like same desktop look we have here. Okay, 
so and if at all you want to find out you know to which what are the views that are being uh, that are being viewed most then you can go to this option traffic to views so this will show or this will tell what is the report that is being very frequently used by the users so you might create n number of reports and you might publish n number of reports to the server but end of the day user might use only few of those reports that you have created so you have to identify what are those reports that are being used very frequently or by the user okay so view all i'm selecting here workbook all i'm selecting okay so in this dev folder only we have seven counts only here and by every day by click the count is increasing here so if i scroll down so how is it is improving like who what views are seen most you know you see this is the see this is the report that is being seen most by the user and who is logging in most to the server because we have limited number of users and limited number of reports it is showing this information but in real time it will show you all the list of the dashboards and users who are logging in and the number of times they are logging in here you see only this user has logged in seven number of times till now and this is the dashboard or report that is being accessed most by the user so that type of information is available in this traffic to views here same way you can also check about the data sources traffic to your data sources which means which of your data sources are, are most active that type of information will be available here again because we are using sample superstore here you might not see much of a difference but in real time since you will be using different types of data sources all will be listed under this tab traffic to data source very important okay hope you liked the video that's it from my side in this video thank you have a nice day bye bye